So that's the quack. Yeah, that's, that's the, quack. the quack. Yeah. And Jack is sort of grinning. At right. This point. Right. So and, you, I, and you've I'm it... sort of cringing and grinning. Right. So that's a little taste of 2001, which is another dimension yeah, to the record in a way. From, different from Wild Yeah, Green. I mean, the whole album has this wonderful funkiness about it. Mm-hmm. And, and that guitar sound there is, is a sound that is filtered, particularly in the first half of the record, you know, that, that it taps in or, or mutates around that kind of sound quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, we definitely wanted to like, keep the guitars drier. Mm. I think that you know we wanted to get away from some of the effects or the the amount of effects we'd used in the past, and that was both from the rehearsal room where we were writing. We kind of had less effects. You, you I don't think you even had any pedal set up, pretty much, right? No, I, I made myself plug straight into the amp because it was. I don't know. I just thought it'd be. A, it's a really easy way to keep things simple because <laughs> pedals. I mean, you can tell a pedally record, and yeah. There's some of them can be a little bit too pedally, I feel like. So also there's yeah. so many options now with pedals and, and pedals have become really complicated as well, which is cool. I think we, we wanted some parameters. So so one of them was let's reduce the, the pedal. Obviously you can introduce sonic textures and pedals and effects as you go into the studio, but perhaps when we're in the writing room and we're trying to write a drier and tighter and more focused record, maybe not having like slatherings of, of reverb yeah. and, and you know. Also, like those sounds very early on can pigeonhole a track maybe before it's ready to be pigeonholed. And, you know, it just makes sense to turn up to, say, someone like Dan's studio with just like a bare bones guitar. So then you can use all the, all the cool stuff he's got, you know, and then he can, which is what he was doing. You can apply these reverbs and textured, textures that actually fit in with the vibe of the song. You know? and, that's a, you know, and then you're meeting a producer halfway. And I think you, you're going there. You, you've written the you've written the the musical components, but the producer's allowed to then produce the song. Whereas if you come in and you're already attached to a, some a Strymon pedal or an, or some yeah, type of pedal, yeah. the producer's always fighting this kind of version of the song that you, you've you've encroached on. So I think we liked the idea partly because we knew we were going to be working with lots of different producers, and we didn't want to overcomplicate things. I think just us kind of. Uh, you know, making sure that a song worked in its basic form without a reliance on the sonic sonic textures. So, you know, it could sound good just skeletally and dry. And 2001 is an example of something where it was the only, to be fair, the only effect that I uh, that I was using was this sort of the, quack. The quack the pedal. Quacker, <laughs> we call it the quacker. Um, I was using a Prometheus um, pedal, but, it, but, you know, anything that's kind of like an auto wire of some type or like um low-pass filter, um, but yeah, we, it was almost kind of slightly tongue in cheek. Um, the, the original um, jam that I had with Jack, um, I kind of was, I was just putting this pedal on to sort of make Jack laugh. Um, but, th- but then um, I'll just, should I play a bit? Yeah, do, that would be great. Um, but, but then, um, and then it kind of stuck around and I th- 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 we thought like, oh, you know, I- in small doses, it could be, could be okay. Um, and then when we went to actually record the track, in more depth with with AK Paul, he actually found a way to kind of use the quacker, but but keep it very. He like he would allow a split second of the quack. And we'll 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 get, we'll, we'll get into that. I guess yeah, you can hear it the, the split second. <laughs> yeah, I mean the song starts with it. Um, but yeah, he, he. I think the the thing with the quack is that if you just slab for something with quack, you know you're 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 on a you're on a you're on a duck hunt, but. <laughs> But if you if you if you keep it there, you know it's comfy duck. It's right. comf- comfy to canard. Yeah. So this is the original jam. So this is yeah. This is this is basically yeah. This is the original. just the two. Just you this and Jack. Just me and Jack because Jimmy's in America at this point, and and it was just meant to be fun. So that's the quack. Yeah, that's, that's the, quack. the quack. Yeah. And Jack is sort of grinning. At right. This point. Right. So and, you, and you've I'm a... sort of cringing and grinning. Right. So you achieved your goal. You got yeah. a smile on his face. Yeah. But then you started to really like the sound. And also to be, I mean, the hook, yeah. this is as the hook, this part is being written. And I remember thinking, oh, this is actually feels like a great. And then this is, this was the original vocals. And do you, are you singing into a microphone? For uh, that yeah, vocal? I'm yeah. singing into yeah. a mic, but into an amp. Yeah. Um, and then this is recorded on my phone. And just on the phone. Yeah, yeah so this yeah. is my iPhone yeah. just sat on the side of the room. And here you can kind of hear, actually, this is quite similar to the verse vocals now. Mm. A 
And I think that you know the, the, this the, the the loop we're playing to a loop. So I'm I, I I like to use the loop head a lot. And the loop had been around for a few years. Um, and it's interesting like you can stock up a load of loops and they're either inspiring to you at a certain point in time or not. But I like to come back to things because you never like without have without having written this vocal line and these extra guitar parts, this loop, the song would never have happened. Mm. But equally, you could approach and be like, well, that loop is two years old. Why should we? Yeah, the loop is it. It's a good bit um, of that. <laughs> yeah, we should have been. It's not in the song anymore. We'll do it uh, live. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, it's interesting being like, I, I quite like revisiting old things, um, like old ideas, because I never would have written that vocal line at the time when the loop was written. But, mm. but when you revisit something a few years later, you find new ways into it, you know, yeah. it becomes, um, so, so there's a lot of quack in there, but I mean, do you want to play off? So, well, these are the main guitars. So it'd be the, so A, there's a a quack starts the track right so he, allowed, he allowed one at the beginning <laughs> so this is the original loop i think with the quacks so that's another one there the sort of princey thing another quack there that's another part there that i would have probably added uh, done as a whole I'm gonna whack the drums in the yeah. and that that's another one there. Yeah. You know, so he would just basically like encourage us to put all these ideas in, but but he was strict with it. Yeah. 